Welcome to your take. This is a review and rating of the Netflix original series, Grand Army. It is based on high school characters, and these high school characters have lots of different conflicts that occur. Here's a clip from the second episode in season one. Oh, nice. Yo, I can't believe you made these, Joe. Oh, crafty as shit. Just don't put them on until after. We know the plan. Yeah. We got a quiz. Bro, part of the point she's trying to make is that her body isn't a distraction. I know, and I'm obviously down for that. And if it does distract you, then that's your fucking problem. I got 99 not hers. problems, but a bitch ain't one. No! Timmy, you dick. If you think you're schooling me on misogyny, like I don't fucking understand, yo, please. I love you guys, my little boys. So, are you gonna go brawl with us? No. Okay, don't do it then. I'm just saying that the dance team mandated it, so like, I have to for solidarity. Or... I just don't feel like I need to make a statement by doing that. Hey. Hey! Can you hang out later? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'll hit you up. Oh, you're like burning your bra today too, right? Because you got to. So, you're all anti free the nipple, then he mansplains it at you, and now you're like all into it? No. So in episode one, we know that this student has a crush on the older student, and he's now pressuring her to not wear a bra, so she can be as cool as the upper class girls who are going braless to protest the dress code. In this next upcoming clip, one of the African-American students' wallet was taken by one of her friends as a prank and $200 was taken from her wallet during that time by other students. Now they're trying to make amends with her. <laughs> yeah, it's the full 200. We hustled all weekend in the subway. Yeah, you would have loved it. This one time, this cop tried to stop us. Yep, not interested. Just give me the bag. Look, dog. We're really genuinely sorry, right? Yep. Got it. So, you're good now, right? I'm confused. Do you want, like, a pat on your back or something? No, 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 no. I just wondered if you could do us a small favor. So it would be amazing if you let the office know that we're handling this. I worked for that money. It wasn't a birthday present for my rich auntie or whatever, and I needed it for something important to me and my family, and you guys really fucked it. Tom, would you have now? Yeah, I do. Right. So, in this clip, Dominique is wanting to forgive the other students who stole her wallet in a prank, but she ends up still going to the principal and making a complaint with another white girl who was also witness to it. And this is what happens next. That was very helpful, girls. I just think that people should be held responsible for their actions. Me too. So please have a seat out here. I'll have a little more information for you when you're ready. Okay? Sure. Okay. What's going to happen? Because they paid me back, and I know I said that in there. Completely understood. Just hang tight, okay? I'm deeply disturbed that you both chose to behave like you did in the midst of a national tragedy. So we have a zero-tolerance policy here at Grand Army. And this was an instance of theft. Well, that's cyberbolic. The NYPD was notified. Dominique was given the option of reporting a crime, which luckily she didn't. Jason, you're receiving a principal suspension of seven days. Are you serious? It was a prank. Yeah. Now, Owen, you personally went into another student's bag and stole their property. Effective today, I'm issuing a superintendent's suspension. Wait, we, we don't know what that means. There will be a hearing in two weeks' time to determine the exact length of the suspension, anywhere from time served to expulsion. The school will provide testimony and witnesses. Owen is free to do the same. You're gonna listen to me now? Stop crying. Just gonna tell me to be This is fucking crazy. I feel really 
really bad. Do you? George and Marco protested not wearing a bra and actually got away with her little prank that she did at school, but wanted to hold these boys accountable. Once again, it was white privilege. So I give this show about a three on a scale of one to five. Leave your take in the comments below. Check it out.